member for Victoria Beacon Hill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. One step at a time, Anglican Bishop Logan McMenemy is building a new relationship between First Nations and Aboriginal people and the Church. In March, those steps added up to 480 kilometres as he completed a three-week journey from Alert Bay to Victoria. Shortly after his consecration in 2013, the Bishop felt strongly that the Anglican Church on Vancouver Island needed to commit to a new relationship with its Indigenous members and neighbours, and that commitment needed to take the form of concrete action. With the guidance of elders, the concept emerged of a sacred journey, a vision quest by the Bishop on behalf of the Diocese with, First, with the First Nations people on the land as an act of repentance. Before starting the pilgrimage, the Bishop met with chiefs and elders and asked for permission to pass through their lands. In each of the communities he visited, his message was simple and direct. We failed you, he told them. We failed to recognize the Creator in you and your land, your culture, and your tradition. We were part of a system in the residential schools that took your children away from you, and they suffered sexual, physical, and cultural abuse. And I'm very, very sorry. The Bishop completed his journey on Easter Sunday at Christ Church Cathedral, a remarkable accomplishment and a profoundly meaningful way to establish mutual respect and further the goal of reconciliation. What an example of leadership for all of us. I hope all members will join me in congratulating Bishop McMenemy on the completion of what he sees as only one step on a very long journey to justice. Thank you, Madam Speaker.